Hey there, in today's video, we are going to be covering off the essential messages that you need to be considering for your email marketing during April. We're starting off with an easy one, tax day. It can be a money maker. And then we're gonna dive into the heavy hitters, the ones that I think you're gonna really wanna focus on. Easter, Earth Day, Mother's Day. And then, wait till the end, we've got a tip of the month. Shopify released a new feature that I know a lot of you have been asking for, and I'm gonna talk you through it at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, hey there, I'm Kestrel Lemon, senior strategist over here at Saguno. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions on anything we talk about today. Up first, tax day. So for most of us in the US, we do a lot of moaning and groaning for tax day. And that's because it's a shared cultural experience. Everyone in the US has to file taxes. And because we all have that, it's something that you can take advantage of in your email marketing. Oftentimes I'll see companies relate to something in their messaging back to, oh, hey, do you have your tax refund? You could use it here. Uh, we'll explore some examples in a moment. And the kind of cool thing about tax day messages is that it really does have universal product appeal because it's basically normally just a straightforward promotion. So it's not like it's geared towards certain products or other products. Now, normally for tax day, you're probably used to seeing examples from this from either big box stores or larger brands. And they use some kind of fun pun and then give you a big discount for tax day. These are what I normally call straightforward promotions. And sometimes they're witty, you know, the tax day added up, how much will you save? Or the message from the IRS, the irresistible retail sale. Basically, this is just an excuse to put out another sale or promotion. And if you're looking for that, then tax day could be something fun, especially if it ties into your niche and you can, you can make it something that works for your brand. However, if you wanna look at something that's a little bit more innovative, take a look at this message from Pair of Thieves. This is a really cool brand. They do socks and underwear. And in this tax day message, they're talking about their sexy accountant calendar, where they say that they've put their real life accountants in a calendar wearing their products. I just, I had to show you this example. It's just really fun and creative and feeds into kind of the avant-garde funness of this brand. And I think for their target audience, this could be something that people really take notice of and then actually want to act on it. Notice that they're not relying on a big incentive either. Granted, this probably took a lot of setup to put together, but I had to show it to you. Now, tax day is definitely not something that everybody should dive into. Just for those that maybe it's right for, great. But something that you all should be considering is Easter. It is a big cultural event and it does have a lot of e-commerce value as well. So the things you gotta remember with Easter is that people normally buy stuff for Easter and they want it there for Easter because whatever they're buying, they're, they're gonna use on Easter. That's, that's kind of the whole point around a lot of Easter day promotions. So if you sell novelty items or clothing or anything that people would use for Easter, remember that you're gonna need to get it there on time. So you've gotta remember those shipping deadlines. So that means you're in your email marketing, you're gonna to wanna to say last chance to ship or ship by here to get it to Easter on time. And if you do sell stuff that people really want for Easter, like let's say children's clothing, then you're gonna to wanna to consider doing more than one message. Maybe something like in a three-part series, the first message is top things for Easter. The second one is, hey, make sure to get it there on time. And maybe the third is some kind of Easter day sale. Here's an example from Tatley that I really like. It's a how-to email and I love how-to emails. I feature them in one of our courses on creating newsletters. And it's just a simple one, two, three. Here's how you can use our product for Easter innovative and it's a really beautiful looking email. This next one is a little bit more straightforward. And if you've seen my examples from this brand before, Macy and Ed, then you know that they have a pretty standard layout for a lot of their messages. So I know it must work for them. And what I really specifically like about this message is of course, they've got a beautiful lifestyle image of all the kids and their Easter best. And that's very cute. But then they're also showing a picture of the product and then a picture of a child wearing the product side by side. And I think that can also be really effective. 
They're highlighting some of their Easter favorites so that people don't have to dig through the website. They just see the eye candy that they want right away, get excited and click through. And remember, the more clicks, the more likelihood for conversion, which is why I'm always after those clicks. Now, next up, let's say you don't sell anything specifically for Easter, but you still want to take advantage of it. People are still in a spendy mood and they still might be excited enough to spend on Easter day, especially if you have some kind of incentive going on. So this is another example of maybe a clever pun or a clever play on words. We've hatched a plan to save you $50 and then they pair it with some fun Easter iconography. So it's a pretty simple message and almost anybody could do this, help feeds into the season. Remember earlier when I said I really like how to messages, there's basically 15 essential newsletters that I think you need to know. And I laid them all out for you in a free course on our website. Only takes about 20 minutes to go through the whole course. And really one of the most valuable parts of the course is the worksheet that comes along with it. It's free download. I show you exactly what you need to do in those messages, even giving you fill in the blanks. I know that a lot of you, the biggest problem you have with email marketing is what am I gonna send? And if you have this 15 newsletters in your back pocket, you're never going to run out of ideas. So head over to schooner.com, grab it up today. And of course, hey, you want some beautiful iconography for an Easter message? We've got you. We've got beautiful templates in our template store. Take advantage of those too. Up next, Earth Day. Now, man, I tell you, Earth Day has gotten more and more popular as time goes on. And that really makes sense. If you watched our Future of Commerce Shipping and Logistics edition, you'll notice that one of the biggest things that came out of that trends report from Shopify was that people are really interested in sustainability. Customers want it. Brands are providing it. So it makes sense that Earth Day is gaining more and more traction. And in fact, I'm seeing Earth Month from a couple of brands as well. Here's the key takeaways that I think you need to know. Up first, customers are asking for sustainability. So even if you haven't heard them say it outright, I think that this is your chance to be able to promote how you are being sustainable. But you need to be transparent about that. It needs to be authentic. You don't wanna just put on a show and say just for today we're doing something and then never really back that up. People can kind of smell that in inauthenticity and it's cringy. Like we don't want to do it. And if you want to promote Earth Day and go into any kind of cause marketing, you want to be authentic, you want to be transparent. And for the right brands where your niche really aligns with Earth Day, Earth Day based efforts, then this is a chance for you to really stand out in the inbox grow engagement, trust with them and become more memorable. So take advantage of it because I know a lot of you really care about Earth Day and this is a great chance to be able to represent that. Here's a great example from a brand, Outer. They're saying sustainable in every way. Today, the world celebrates Earth Day, but here at Outer, sustainability is woven into the very fabric of our company. That's some really nice subtle pieces of copy there. And then they're showing a behind the scenes shot of how they're contributing to Earth Day. I love it. Now, typically when you think of jewelry, you might not think of eco-consciousness, but obviously they know that this matters to their audience and it matters to them. So they put together a blog post about how you can have a more eco-friendly wedding. Then they have a secondary call out there where they're showing how they are becoming more carbon neutral. And they're even showing their partnership with a carbon neutral company so that they have a little bit more credibility. Up next, I really like these two examples, so I wanted to show them side by side uh, because I think it's a layout that really works. Essentially, they've got an image of a product, they've got their headline, a timer, and then how they're relating to Earth Day. And then to add some extra credibility, they're showing off the different organizations that they're a part of. So they're using some great iconography, they're using a countdown timer, they're using some product photos, and they're still being authentic and transparent about how they're contributing to Earth Day. This is really smart. I really like this layout. Now, up next, Mother's Day. Now, I've been in e-commerce for 10, 11 years, plus years. Mother's Day, don't underestimate it. It's a big day. Uh, same thing with Father's Day. 
These are big gift giving holidays. So it means that people are going to really care about shipping deadlines, especially because you kind of have the added guilt of making sure you get it to the parent on time. So that's a that's a big part. If you're going to run a Mother's Day message or campaign, you got to make sure that you know when your shipping deadlines are. And then I would say one of the biggest things that you've got to do is put yourself into your consumers' minds. How are you going to help them get something for their mom? How are you going to help them? That's the biggest question you've got to answer here. And if you sell products that are really suitable for mothers or that mothers would want to maybe buy for themselves, then consider doing more than one message. Go ahead and do a two, three, four part campaign for Mother's Day. Up first, I've got an example here from Parks Project. Now Parks Project is all about national parks. So maybe it's not the first thing that you would think of for Mother's Day, but they've been able to align gifts for mom with Mother's Day so that it all lines up. And then they're also mentioning how, hey, maybe you need to do some last minute shopping. Here's what you can do to get it there on time. Love it. This next message is from Postable, and what they're doing is warning people way ahead of Mother's Day that, hey, Mother's Day's coming up, so do you want to go ahead and order something? And this warning doesn't come off as peer pressure. It comes off as being helpful because everybody could use a little nudge sometimes to help remember Mother's Day. Next up, and I, I love this kind of message too, behind the scenes. This is another type message that we have in the 15 must-have newsletters because I think it's really effective. But what Everlane has done here is up the top, we've got uh, today only free two-day shipping. So we've got that sense of urgency, great. But then we show some great pictures of the staff's mothers. And I love this because I think we can all, many of us can relate to seeing that fun picture of our moms when they were younger. Uh, my mom used to have this sweet mullet and I love looking back on pictures of her with that mullet. So this really like sparks a lot of joy for me. And then finally, I wanted to show you this. This is a very simple, straightforward Mother's Day message and what they're doing is showing off some top picks. And what I would recommend for a message like this is go ahead and make a Mother's Day collection in Shopify so that people can easily access it and you've kind of done the work for them with a gift guide. So they don't have to try to look through your site. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? You show them like these are the top picks for mom and in that way you're doing the work for them and that'll be seen as helpful. All right, so I do wanna bring up one little thing with Mother's Day. You might have people in your audience that you're concerned about Maybe they don't want to receive Mother's Day messages. Maybe it's a difficult subject for them. And if you want to be able to offer up the ability for someone to temporarily opt out of your messages, opt out of your Mother's Day messages, you can do this. All you need to do is build out a page on your site for email signup. Then tag anybody who submits that email signup form and then suppress them from the Mother's Day send. If you have any problems with that or additional questions, contact Suguno Support and we can help you out. But we understand that this is a little bit of a sensitive holiday and we definitely want to make sure that we can provide support for it. All right, up next, tip of the month. Um, this one's actually really exciting. I mean, I, I always love tip of the month, uh, of course, but this one's really exciting because Shopify has now transitioned everybody over from saved customer groups to segments. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so I am in the customers tab and up here on the left hand side, you will see all of our saved segments. And here I can go ahead and create a segment if I want to, and it'll start giving me prompts on what I want to do, how I want to create my segment. However, for me, when I first get started with a tool, I really like to use templates because it's a great way to just get me started right away and kind of accelerates my knowledge. So you'll notice when you hit that templates button, then you've got a couple of different categories. There's six different categories that come up here. And within each category is one to three templates that you can choose from. Now, what you can do here is let's say we pick a template that we really want to use. We hit use template. And now I've got the segment logic built out here. Now, the little hack that I like to do is, you know, maybe this segment doesn't really fit my business because it's basically saying, show me all my subscribers who have spent over $1,000 in the last 90 days. But let's say, you know, $1,000 doesn't really match my business. Maybe it's more like $100. I can just simply alter that text there. So now it's $100. 
And the same thing with this 90 days. If I don't like 90 days, I could do 30 days. And then if I don't like that at all, I can just delete out that little section and then I can choose what kind of date range I want. Now, here's why this could be extra important right now. What if you choose to target people who were high purchasers from last year at this time for Mother's Day or last year at this time for Easter? That way you could kind of find your VIPs and maybe get them with some special targeted messaging now so that you know they're going to take advantage of any kind of Mother's Day or Easter or Earth Day type promotions that you're going to have. So this is a great way for you to align something that's going on for everyone, like a big e-commerce event, plus Shopify, plus email marketing. That all comes together and it can be extra powerful. So go ahead and give that a try. We also have a great blog post that we just released on five different ways that you can take advantage of the new segment templates. Go check that out. We've got examples and exactly what they're doing in there. And if you have any questions on templates, segments or segment templates, please let us know and we'll try to help you out there. And of course, we're gonna have more content coming out about them as time goes on. In the meantime, that's it for today. Please like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions for next month and I'll see you then.